Tales of the Neon Sea is a brand new game that only came to my knowledge after it was released a few days ago, but it instantly grabbed my attention with its incredible pixel-styled visual and a cyberpunk aesthetic. On that, I have to confess I'm a sucker for the genre. Blade Runner 2049 was my top three movie of that year, and I still remember drooling over the trailer of the last night dropped during E3 2017. My curiosity is compounded upon learning that the game was developed by Palm Pioneer, a small independent team in Chengdu, China, and it's getting really good initial reviews, so naturally I have to try it out. And hello internet, my name is Kevin, and this is the beginning of my playthrough of Tales of Neon Light. I hope I have a good time playing this game, I hope you have a good time Watch me have a good time. In short, I hope there's a lot of good times around between you and me, so let's begin. Welcome to my playthrough of Tales of the Neon Sea. Uh, I know this is continue here, but I really haven't started yet. I only s started for like the first screen just to see if it was recording well. So this is a brand new adventure for me, and I'm actually a little apprehended at this. Uh, I'm usually terrible at puzzle games, but this game looks so visually amazing to me. I have to try it out. So yeah, let's without further ado, let's dive into it. Uh, a little bit of instruction on the gamepad, which is what I will be using. Right. Seems pretty basic. <laughs> I hope I'll be okay with it. What's past is prologue. I... Okay, I didn't see no prologue, but maybe that's just me. I'm gonna move the mouse out of the picture. I don't know if you're seeing it, but it's annoying me. Um, what was that? Okay, I guess this is me then. <laughs> My name is Rex. That's awfully... And of course he's a detective. I mean, dressed like that, he can't really go into any other profession. Where on earth am I? My head feels like it's going to explode. Oh, okay. Um, what the 2140 10 week? What, what is that? Is that a date? Oh no, I got. Hey! Ah! I, I died! Well, that was awfully fast! Sure, buddy, just get right up. I'm gonna. Uh, maybe this. I'll do it better this time, I swear. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, we're doing good. We're gonna survive this, you and me. We're a team. And Grim Reaper back there is not in the team! Oh, that's quick thinking. Damn, it hurts so bad. I'm trying to give him a raspy voice like a detective, but I can't reliably do that for very long. He is the protagonist. Damn it hurts so bad. This is not good. My wrist and ankle both in bad shape. I think it's unstoppable. It seems the hallucination has disappeared, but it could show up at any time. I better take care of my wounds quickly. I gotta get you back up, buddy. No time to rest. <coughs> I'm lucky to be alive. I reckon this fungus saved my life. It must have broken my fall after I dropped. Doesn't matter how you're alive, buddy. Important thing is you are. And I'm gonna take good care of you. There's no power. I guess this is not him actually talking. There's no power, but the cable wire seems to be in good condition. So I guess we need to restore power to the place. This fungus. Seems to be highly invasive, and it's everywhere. That path seems to be blocked. Oh, do we have to get rid of the fungus? I mean, they saved your life, but uh, I guess there's no other choice. That thing up there, it seems, it seems to be waving at me or somehow. Mm. 
This commission must really be bad, because I'm starting to see my head running around by itself. Yeah, I don't know. I need to get my head back, of course. That is the signature of a detective. You cannot live without it. Looks like this robot took a fall too. Poor guy, we're gonna have to do something about that. Hey! My head is running around! What did that do? Oh, I think I need to... Um... I need to figure out a way to... Jolt to... The pipe at, my, at where my head is. I need to send a steam there. So, I think there's a combination. So, this is the first puzzle. Is that it? Oh, I need to get steam here. So the steam is currently... It should be... I don't know why it's not spitting steam where my head is right now. It seems it's in the... Let me try this. Ah, there we are! Uh, we need to send the steam downward through the lower pipe. My hat! You will not you will escape me no further. This is the end of the line, buddy. Aha. Now I am complete. Thankfully it hasn't been damaged. Or at least any more than anyone it was. I just don't feel right without my hat. I get the feeling, man. This ladder seems to be broken. I have no strength at all. I'd better attend to my wounds first. No, I think you need food. Oh, yep. Sewage maintenance room. Mm, we're anyway. It's October twenty-one forty. Don't know which week. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, shit. Is it Grim Reaper? Oh, it's a kitty! Hi, cutie. Are you lost? William? Is that you? Aww. How did you get here? Go play somewhere else. The last thing I need is more trouble. Yeah, you're not gonna... Have a sound effect. Do I have to? Okay. Ah, oh, he's gonna follow me now. That's awesome. I have a companion. This must be the old plumbing maintenance station. If I can restore the power supply, I'll be able to repair my wounds temporarily. I'll be able to repair my wounds temporarily. Okay. Restore the power. Future technology, I guess. But I can't do anything until I find enough mechanical parts. That's okay, we'll get some bolts and wires and all that. I can't use this maintenance station until I find a way to power it. Um, what about this thing? The cable is severed. I need to replace it. Okay, we need an extra cable. The generator is missing some power cells. I need to find an alternative source. we we'll use the cat. I need to fill the generator with alternative power cells. There must be something around here I can use. So we need three... Three power cells? Oh, no, one of them seems to be leaking and it's on its last leg, so I don't know. Maybe we need four. Everything in there is broken. Hey, there's something here. It could be... 
multi-function screwdriver and can be used to dismantle machines, but it's all rusty. That's something. This must be where the mechanical parts were stored, but it's empty. Ah, bummer. Hey, we can dismantle this robot. What did I do? Uh, I don't. I think. I think this is exactly what I mean to do. Universal robotic ankle parts, classic from a bygone age. I got a mechanical ankle component. Uh, I hope that's useful. It will be. Holy shit! William, come back to me. I discarded a diary, probably left behind by a maintenance worker. By the way, I think this game maybe currently isn't completely finished. Uh, like it has chapter one to three, so maybe even if we go to the end of what is currently available right now, it probably won't be a conclusion. Electrical scissors, a little blunt but still usable. Oh, we got. Uh, we need. I need to check out what I have already have. That's cool. That there's a, a mish, There's a quest list here. Wait, what? Acquire hand part, acquire food part that is part of healing my wounds? Am I a robot? Place energy source in the repair room. I'm not running a lot faster here. It can be used to dismantle machines. How about this? Mm. No, none of them none of them are power cells. I guess I have to get outside. Hey William, you got an idea. Okay. That's a good kitty. Wait a second. This is the electronic storage pouch inside these cyber rats. It's just what I need to help power the generator. But William has damaged this one with his teeth. God damn it, William! I remember there are three shots in that generator, so I need to collect the three electronic storage pouches at least. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I saw some rat holes near to where I fell. That'll be a good place to search. We get. We need to catch rats. We need to catch electronic rats to use as power cells to power up the generator. Best game ever already. These electronic spores seem toxic. Better to stay away. Spores, huh? Well, I'm right beside the spores now. It doesn't seem to be doing anything to me. All right, we gotta go catch some catch some rats, William. But you do not damage them, okay? Uh, dismantle this machine. See what we got. Okay, sometimes you gotta jam the A button. Sometimes it's just pressing it. Mechanical wrist opponent. The surface of which I suffered a severe erosion. That sucks. Rats! William, no! That's just perfect. You scared away the cyborg rats. Now what am I supposed to do? Yes, I'm talking about you. What, you wanna go in there and catch some rats for me? Hmm. Are you sure about this? You destroy that last cyborg rat energy pouch with your teeth. I guess you're my only option. I need three more cyborg rat electronic storage pouches. Remember you can't damage them. I'm counting on you. Am I gonna use play William now? Holy shit! 
Uh, okay, rats will run away from me, so I gotta... Got it. This is a stealth game. I am perfectly late at a stealth games. Nobody is ever left alive after I do my stealth games. Where am I exiting from there? That rat is looking at me, so no. Holy shit! Uh, I know it's not the right way to do it, but I gotta go somewhere. Jeez. This is a maze. What is this? Uh, what just happened? Did I step on those things to make them disappear? So, it's be it, is it because of the shape? They're of similar shapes, so I can jump through them? But these are just cracks. I don't know if I can predict this. Anyway, need rats. Where are the rats? This will take some practice. Oh, I see. I can. I think I know how to get to one of them. I gotta creep up from behind. Wait. Um, sure. Okay. Yes! Ah, uh, that's one of them. One down, two to go. Good kitty. That's a big jump. Oh, I need to find some more rats. That path is not available to me. I don't know how he's destroying those things. I can't. William, are you talking? I can't leave until I've caught three rats. <laughs> I don't know if this is because the cat is mechanical, maybe, so we are understanding him somehow, or is, or is this just, just because he's my best friend, so I kinda know what he's talking about. I don't really understand what's going on here. Oh, toxic. No, we don't want nothing to happen to William. No, oh, come back. Oh, shit. It was difficult enough to squeeze out of there. I don't think... I should give William a voice. What the hell? Do his con how, how can I determine what his voice is gonna be? It was difficult enough to squeeze out of there. I don't think I can go back that way. This is bad. I'm gonna be wandering down here for a very long time.
Oh no. Mm, I need to get to the next. I'm trapped here. Jesus. Oh hey. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Wow, that is a strong kitty. Holy shit. leave yet maybe I should at least scare this rat away no oh shit I didn't even quite comprehend what happened but two out of three Gotta get one more. Just need one more. Wait! My bad. Didn't mean to do that. Actually, it would be really nice if you could jump down the level, you know. I was hoping maybe they lead to different holes. Oh no, the other square is over there. I think I don't think there's any chance of me reaching that. Oh wait! Oh, there's another square. I'm saved. Wait, no, this is not where I want to be. I uh, hope you lead to different square. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, little rat. Time to move your body. And I got it. That rat was not smart. That rat was an idiot. Uh, energy crystal from the inside of set. No, I don't need to read that. Finally, time to bail. Jesus Christ. I've got all the energy pouches. Time to head back. Did it. Three electronic storage pouches, and they're in perfect condition too. Hmm. To get too cocky, kid, you may have retrieved these power banks, but you're the one who scared away the cyborg rats in the first place. Ah, oh, come on, Rex, dude. Not cool. Let's cut, cut the cable. All right, we got a we got an extra cable, so that's good. How far along are we? Uh, restore power equipment. Place an energy source in the room. You know what? I think we're good. I think we actually got everything we need. So let's just trudge our way back to the to, to the electronic room. I'm already. This is this is his normal walking, and this is his no walking on sprint. I'm already walking the fastest I can. I guess because he's injured, I expect him to run much faster after he's healed. So far, this premise it has been very intriguing in terms of in terms of mystery, the thing that's hunting him, and 
just he's a detective, right? And that's what I read about. So what kind of case is he on? Let's repair the cable. Did we do it? I think we did. Three uh, mechanical rat intestines. This kind of power supply can only conduct the energy when the source is arranged in order to from minimal to maximum. Oh, so extra puzzle, I guess. Then... It, obviously that thing is the minimum. These two are... This one is, these two aren't working, so maybe they're in the wrong order? I don't know, what, what's the difference between one red heart to another? Anyway, it worked. Hey, it's alive! No, the soup, no. No, no, that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm doing. So I guess we put both components on our body? Do we do it? Well, we have nothing left, so we better have done it. What is this? Oh shit! There are actually notes? That's... That's kind of amazing. Damaged diary. Yeah, I, I want to read this. Sure, let's go. June 11th, 2118. What, what year what is it now again? Fine weather. After I finished the work assigned to me, I heard the staff talking about the government's big plan of developing and building the Sky City. It sounds like a city floating is in the sky. That's really a name sorely lacking for imagination. Sky City? I mean, you could use like Laputa, which I, I don't know. But what would that even look like? Well, it's none of my business. I'm just an engineer robot. An engineer robot wrote a diary? Why the robot? Uh, October 1st, 2119. Cloudy. I have less and less work recently. I've noticed a smaller number of staff added the energy depot as well. When I was topping up, I heard lots of human staff have been sent to the Sky City under construction. I don't know whether I will be assigned to there as well. November 30th, 2119. The work is really drying up and there are only three people working at the energy depot. I heard they left here because they are not <clears throat> good enough to go to Sky City. Sorry. Does that mean like this, whoever wrote this diary isn't good enough? March 9th, 2120. Cloudy. Hey, he, he didn't write weather for the last entry. I don't know. I don't care. The new job I've been given today is to clean the underground sewer. The work is going very slow because there isn't any professional equipment. July 19th, 2120. No weather record. If there's no if there's no point in reminding me of that, if that's the case. I am unable to return to ground within the required time of the instruction center due to a GPS breakdown. I'm trying to return by following the traces left in traces left in the waterway maintenance work. Is this a hint at how we're supposed to get back uh, above ground? Because we're already in the sewers right now. Follow the traces left in the waterway maintenance work. I I'm guessing they're just the signs. What's this? A note on cyborg rats. This is a synthetic creature with machine and organic parts like the product of an early cyborg technology experiment. The rat's great adaptability to environments has been reinforced through the innovation. As a half-machine and a half-organic being, how they reproduce remains a mystery. Well, that shouldn't be a mystery, should it? Somebody surely should get down on it. Now I'm ready to go. Fingers crossed this won't kill me. Uh oh. Aw, oh, this really is the prologue.
Hey guys, that was me playing through the prologue part of Tales of Neon Sea. In the next part, we will be embarking on the first chapter of the game. So far, I am thoroughly impressed. One thing I failed to mention is the intrigue behind the sheer existence of robot rats. The fact that they are mechanical experiments and the humans don't really understand them might be a hint at the overall relationship between humans and machines. Such little details go a long way in terms of world building and I really appreciate that. So that's all the time we have, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel for more. Have a good one.